Hello everyone, this your boy Ace here. Welcome to After News Delight. So on Wednesday's episode of Chicago Fire, we get into the meat and potatoes of this whole Emma storyline. So, Emma... <laughs> I told y'all why I like Emma, man. Emma is really sparking up this, this Firehouse 51. It's making it entertaining. And because we, we hadn't had a character like this in a while, someone that is just so crazy where it, it, it's really putting everything into a perspective. I think right now she's really coming at the Violet, coming after her job, but I don't know what's her other motives with Violet outside of that. There's a reason why she's there, and that's what I want to find out about um, ultimately. But right now, Emma is really getting on Violet's nerve, like. There was a moment in the episode where they were working a case um, with a victim outside and she tried to take the lead on it. And Violet was like, no, I can handle this. And she just kept persisting. And then early in the episode, she lied to, uh, um, who was it, Ritter, I think? Ritter and Gallo, I think? I forgot who it was, but she lied about Violet in the blood, like not being able to Something with the blood, like she didn't really like it or whatever. Because, you know, Emma's been acting like this, like, daredevil, adventurous person that likes seeing blood and whatever. Like, and she was trying to make it seem like Violet was a, like a little pussy or whatever. But the thing was that was interesting about her lying about that was that Violet figured her out through that other part. So Violet is really on to her. Ritter already looked up that information about her last week. So I think they're going to keep, you know, looking things up about her to really see about her past because... They could be dealing with a mentally disturbed person right now, and I don't know what's going on, but Emma is super troubled. Now, one of the things that I'm also weary of is how this episode ended. So, uh, they were at the bar, Emma comes over, or whatever, and Emma, like, you know, I don't know, she was, like, trying to drink a beer, but then she pulls Mason over. I didn't get that. Like, why she pulled Mason over? Like, in a conversation, someone please explain what's going on with that. Like, she just pulled Mason over. I'm like, don't drag Mason with you. Don't, don't drag him down with you. Like, Mason just trying to get used to everything. Like, don't don't drag Mason down with you. So, I don't know what she's planning on doing with Mason. I don't know if she's going to try to sleep with Mason and do something about that to set him up. I don't know what's going on, but... I can't wait. That's why I can't wait for Chicago Fire to come back. Because this girl has done so much damage. Violet's trying to figure things out. She tried to get, you know, Hawkins to use his power to get rid of her. He can't do that because he's already under heat. And, man, it is... <sighs> Some of you guys might be right. She could be a spy, too, you know, um, for Violet and Hawkins. Probably more for Hawkins. And But she's really coming at the Violet, man. And I'm just like, wow. Gallo, Gallo still seems like he wants to hook up with her. Like, he's still, like, he's still clueless. Like, I think Gallo's going to get hurt, man, you know, uh, from this from this girl, man. Like, it's crazy right now, man. She's doing everything that I said that she was going to do two weeks ago. I talked about this girl two weeks ago when she first came, and I was so right about my suspicions of her. Like, Man, I just felt like something was wrong with her, man, before they even revealed it on the show. <laughs> but let me know what y'all think about Emma. Man, Emma's definitely made the show interesting, though, man. Like, I'm loving it. I'm loving this little mystery going on with her. But please like the video, share, subscribe. Let me get y'all thoughts on it. Thank you guys for watching. After News Delight.